do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power Now, Holes and Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add cover art to your game collection. So let's say you have a PS1 or PS2 games on your modded PS3. I'll show you how you can have the cover art show up under Webman. So if I go to Webman here, and let's see if I go to PlayStation, we see that I have some cover art uh, already for some of my games, but this particular game, it doesn't have any cover art, so we're, I'm going to show you the process of how to add the cover art to like PS1 games, as well as PS2 games as well. Uh, technically, you can also do it for the same setup for PS3 games or PSP, but I don't have any of those images on my hard drive right now for the PS3. You can also have the cover art also show up in Multiman. So if you use Webman or if you use Multiman, if done correctly, your cover art will show up and I'll show you how that process works. It's pretty simple and it's pretty sweet as well. But let me show you Multiman real quick here. If I go to Retro, we see that, hey, I got some images for some of these games. That's pretty cool. But how do you add the images? Let me show you how that works. So with that said, let's jump straight into my computer. Let's do this. All right, so this next portion of the video tutorial, I'm going to show you where you can find your cover art for your games and then how to transfer those cover art to the PS3. I'm going to use the FTP method, but you could also use a USB thumb drive, multi-man, file manager, and also do it that way as well. So how do you find your cover art? Easiest way is go to Google Images, and let's say you're looking for like a God of War 2. Press enter. You can type in God of War 2 cover art. Go ahead, find the art that you like. So let's say you found this one. You go to view image, and then what you do is you right click on it, say save the picture, and save into a directory on your hard drive. Once you have all the images that you want, so like for example, here's my cover art. I have these images here. Then we're going to going to do is use an FTP program to connect to the PS3. So I'm going to use a program called FileZilla. It's freeware. And I just happen to know that my PS3 IP address is 192.168.1.109 and quick connect. If you need a more in-depth tutorial on how to use FTP program with your PS3, see the video description. I'll have a link to that dedicated video. Once we have logged in to the PS3, what you want to do is navigate to the dev underscore HDD0. And in my particular case, we're going to go to the PSX ISO. Here I already have set up some game folders for my games ex existing. And what you'll notice is if you go to like a particular game like Road Rash 3D, you will have some different files. Just make sure that your cover art file, in this case Road Rash 3D.jpg, make sure that the file extension is lowercase jpg. And then you also want to make sure that the rest of the file name is exactly the same. So like for example, Road Rash 3D in capitals for the bin, the queue, and also the JPEG. If we go to Metal Gear Solid, here is a two disc game. So I have a disc one, a disc two, and I also made sure that the file name for the JPEG, it also is named accordingly. If we go to another example like Cool Borders, here we see that the Cool Borders that JPEG follows the same nomenclature as the bin and also the dot queue. But we didn't do anything with Parapper to Wrapper today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename the game. Let's rename the ISO. So I'm going to rename it right now. So we're going to call it Parapper the Wrapper. Okay. Now we're going to copy over the JPEG file. And then we got to rename the JPEG file to make sure it matches the game. ISO. So let's do that. Okay, so that is the PXS version. Let's say you want to do a PS2. So you go to your PS2 folder. I have some games here. So here's uh, Beautiful Drill 2. Same idea. Make sure that the JPG file name matches the rest, the Q and the ISO and so on and so forth. And then the same idea would work if you had PS3 ISOs, which I don't right now, or if you had PSP ISOs. So how do you, uh, a neat way to double check this, to refresh on the fly, is let's log into the PS3. So now if I go to refresh XML and then I do refresh HTML, we'll see that the cover art has refreshed for your different games. So if I want to sort this, I can say PS2 ISO. Here are my games right now with the cover art. That's awesome. If I go to PSX ISO, here we see that here's the cover art updated for my game. And when I go to Webman or I go to Multiman, I'll see these images as well. And it's just a nice cool way to view your game library. So that's today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.